Hey y'all, I'm going to share one of my absolute favorite books with you today, and I'm gonna be playing my ukulele. Here he is. Ukulele is kind of like a guitar, but it's a lot smaller, and it only has four strings instead of six. Some of you have played them before. Some of you might get the chance once you're up at the older um, upper elementary school. Um, but anyways, this book today is called On Top of Spaghetti, and unfortunately I won't be able to hold it super close because I'm also playing the ukulele, but I will do my best to tell the story. Howdy folks, welcome to Yodler Jones Spaghetti Emporium and Music Cow. You're just in time to hear about the big sneeze. It all started when they put in that fried fritter fricassee parlor next door. That's right over here. I couldn't haul in a customer with a line and a pole. Yodler, I said to myself, it's time to upgrade the menu. See, no one's coming to his restaurant, so he's got to think of something so people will come over there. So I set out to invent the most delicious meatball this side of Sicily. And I likely did, but the blasted thing didn't stick around long enough for a taste test. On top of spaghetti, all covered with cheese. I lost my poor meatball when somebody sneezed. Let's see what that sneeze looks like. Oh no, it rolled off the table and onto the floor. And then my poor meatball rolled right out the door. For all I knew, my entire future depended upon that runaway meatball. I had to have a bite. I was hot on the trail when it flew to the Piggly Wiggly and hit me, dear Miss Jenkins, smack dab in the squash. Pardon my meatball, I said. Then I told my tale. And I was all covered with cheese. I lost my poor meatball when somebody sneezed. what's gonna happen next that wasn't the end of it though not by a monkey's tail my meatball went a whooshing and a whizzing and this time it landed in front of the sheriff's office pardon my meatball I said on top of spaghetti You can start singing along soon. I bet you you know the words now. Next thing I knew, my meatball zinged all the way to the ballpark. By the time I caught up, some tad whacker was just about to chomp down. Pardon my meatball, I said. On top of spaghetti, all covered with cheese. I lost my poor meatball when somebody Wait a minute. He squeezed and it went a whooshin'. Well, that meatball shot out to the outfield, boomeranged, whizzed by shortstop, flew over the pitcher's mound and headed directly for home plate. Bad Bubba Jr. was up at bat. Talk about your home run. My meatball zoomed through the wild blue yonder. And where do you reckon it landed? It rolled in a garden and under a bush And then my poor meatball was nothing but mush Yodler, I said, you might as well put up a for sale sign Then lo and behold, a miracle occurred the mush was as tasty as tasty could be. And by the next day, it grew into a tree. The tree was all covered with beautiful moss. It grew
not sure that's real. Maybe. You know what? Those were the most delicious meatballs this side of Sicily. Nowadays, plenty of folks stop in for a belly full. I always tell them though, if you eat spaghetti, all covered in cheese, hold on to your meatball and don't ever sneeze. Let's see what happens. Oh, this place closed down. <gasps> oh no. Is it gonna start all over again? I hope not. And just so you know, in the back of the book, they actually show the music so you can kind of see it. But oh, it's one of my absolute favorites. I bet you can sing on top of spaghetti by this point. What do you think? Wanna give it a try? On top of spaghetti. I hope you're all staying healthy. Make sure you keep singing. Remember, this was a ukulele. If you were in Hawaii, they would say ukulele, but we call it a ukulele when we're here. Until next time, see you later.